Hi everyone, welcome to Connection Yoga. My name is Kat. I am the Lady of the Dawn, here to guide you through 25 minutes of yen practice. We'll be doing a variety of postures, all of which I do recommend having some props on hand to support you in holding that posture for about three or four minutes each. To do so, I have a bolster and two pillows. I recommend having two pillows, two blocks. Instead of a bolster, you could do a pillow. Or if you have none of the above, it's all right. These just help give and fill that space, making this a more comfortable and relaxing experience. So it can be more active, that's totally okay. But again, these are just here to help. And that's it. By continuing on with the rest of this practice, it is a waiver of acceptance of liability. Take care of yourself. And if you're ready, let's greet the day. We'll begin with reclined butterfly. I've got block on a medium setting and a block on a low setting to create an incline or decline, whatever, for you to lay back on. Sit right in front of the end and bring bottoms of the feet together, making butterfly legs before leaning back, lying down. Arms open, eyes might close. begin to shift from our monkey minds to our mindful ones, noticing if our thoughts, our body is wiggling and writhing. Can you consciously slow down? Just like watching the sunrise. It's taking the moment to be still and to savor. As each moment and beam of sunshine grows, so will your stillness. Breath be your anchor. Breathing in, breathing out, filling your lungs and releasing the air. About 30 more seconds here. Please 
place your hands by your sides and slowly lift up to a seat. Knees come together. Let the knees sway side to side. Gentle reset. And come back through the center. Extend legs straight in front of you. And stack shoulders over your hips. Go ahead and grab your pillow or bolster and set it on your legs and fold forward to your degree. Resting on your pillow, or if you find you do not like it or want it, let it go. And once again, settle into stillness. Into breath. Try and let go of all control in the body. Simply breathing, allowing the breath to do the work, to expand through your body. Slowly lift back up and set your bolster to the side. Hands plant again, sway knees side to side, reset. And then come back to center. And we prep for deer. So start in butterfly and then swing your left leg behind you making two semi-triangle shapes. Now, the range of angle here can vary depending on your body. They can be 90 degrees, or they can be closer in. So go ahead and explore. We're looking for sensation in the hips and low back. So you can stay tall if you're feeling it here or begin to fold over your front leg, either onto a bolster, block, or nothing. 
be here just about three minutes. About 30 more seconds here. Can you stay mindful and savor the moment? sometimes feels we are non-stop as our minds are but the truth is you have skills and the ability to slow down to savor
inhaling each square inch of breath filling your lungs and each whisper out Gently lift yourself up and set your blocks or pillow to the side. Laying down once more, option to bring the bolster under your knees if you'd like, or go without. Resting on the earth. Let control of your breath go away, shifting back to a natural rhythm and breath. Shavasana. voice to call you back. Again to reawaken wiggling fingers, toes, lying wrists, ankles. Arms reach overhead, point toes, full body stretch. And begin to make your way up an easy seat. We'll close out together with one community breath. Exhale everything. Breath in. 
breath out. Hands to heart center, thumbs to forehead center. With sunshine and gratitude, we bow. Namaste. Happy day. Thank you so much for being here, practicing with me, and enjoying this spooky season. Know that these practices can totally transcend Halloween time because the whole point is to channel an energy. We're channeling the savoring of a sun by being ladies and lords of the dawn. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, keep coming back. Let me know what you thought either in the comment section or if we're live streaming, I'd love to talk in the chat. But that's it. We've got more Halloween coming your way. So I hope to see you there. And so does Roscoe. Carpe diem. Go out. Seize the day. I love you all. And I'll talk to you next time.